So how the hell are you meant to spend Christmas on a rusty project narrowboat, I hear you say. And if that's not enough, check out this ice on the river and the marina. Still, Becca has big plans for today and is completely refusing to let anything get in her way. It's Christmas! Becca's got all these mad ideas for the Christmas episode, all things she wants to reenact. She's got me running wild, doing uh, snow angels and stuff. I'm trying to get Chris to take a bit of a risk for once and look, like, let his inhibitions go. Don't so stressful. Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, what you're uh, w witnessing here is something that Becca is preparing for later in the uh, episode for you. Oh, yeah, I saw the snow as the perfect chance to reenact one of the UK's most iconic Christmas number ones. <laughs> Hold on to your hats. Are you embarrassed? Not at all. <laughs> Nailed it. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? So we are the Nomadic Crowbot. Body freezing! The plan was to take you guys along for the ride in a complete off-grid lifestyle change. Fortunately, we've accidentally purchased a project narrowboat. So yeah, we somehow got to try and live on this bad boy while they're completely renovating it. It's been tough, but it's been a good laugh, guys. Thankfully, today DIY is being put to one side. Let's get a cuppa on the go and fill you in. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We are the Nomadic Crowbot and I know what you're asking. Is it possible to be able to enjoy yourself on a grubby, rusty project narrowboat at Christmas time? What do you reckon? See, what I thought you were going to say is, is it possible for any two people to look cooler than these pair look in their hats? I mean, I am rocking the Grinch. Hold it up. Because obviously I've been a bit of a Grinch these last months. Becca is rocking the uh, elf thing with some weird ears. Look at the check out these ears guys. <laughs> so what is happening in this Christmassy episode Rebecca? We are gonna have loads of fun. Oi. We're gonna take the opportunity to have an all-out crowbot Christmas party and we want you to join us along the way. Come with us as we journey through Christmas on our Project Narrowboat. So before Becca dips her claws into this Christmas episode, yeah she's been absolutely buzzing to do this Christmas episode bless her, let me show you the uh, frozen lock here next to her marina. And I don't actually know if these locks are shut for the winter now or not. <laughs> is that bad? I mean, this is right next to our, our marina and I don't even know. Look at the ice, guys. Yeah, that probably goes pretty well hand in hand with us never cruising around, never. We will, we are gonna be going, guys. The main idea, obviously, has always been to go continuous cruising. I mean, who in their right mind would uh, give up their job for 15 years and buy a Project Narrowboat and then choose to live on it? Me, that's who. Just a bench there. So for once, not a B&Q run, a Christmas run. Probably the world's smallest Christmas shop, what do you reckon? Yeah, with all the excitement, bless her, old Bex has got the, the boat fully kitted out for Christmas. That girl is going to be trouble today. Right, so it's time for our Christmas bacon bag. Oh yeah, a nice big slab of that. And you've got to have the obligatory taste. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I just need to double check it one more time. Bacon is sizzling, cheese is cheesing. Now I'm just gonna, um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna butter the bread roll. What a lovely pair of bats. All that's left is a bit of mango chutney. I'm gonna slap a bit of cheese on that. Get our bacon, whack it on top. Good old dollop. Behold the mighty Christmas bacon bap! Terrifying cheese in there. Mmm! I 
A moment of panic as power went down on the vessel. Will Christmas need to be cancelled? Hi, we just got back to the marina and there's no electricity. We're both itching to put half a Christmas on. Thank you. And like that, the power comes back. It's easy. I'm itching to check out this R for Christmas. Anyone seen it? A thing on the TV the other night that said sort of top 100 Christmas movies. And R for Christmas was in the top five. I'd never heard of it. Have you heard of it, Bex? <laughs> no, I have. No, I have heard of it. But what I was going to say, we're hoping that R for Christmas is really good. Unlike this one. Which was shite. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, getting rid of that horrible one. Delicately place Arthur for Christmas what has been voted one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time into the DVD player. I've never heard of it. Sit back and assess. <laughs> so in the absence of any real decorations, we are making our own. We've got oranges, we've got fire and we've got Christmas spirit. <laughs> She's off again. Taking it upon myself to get crafty and to make some with some just bog standard household items, including newspapers. So let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so time to start getting some decorations up. What do you reckon? And um, because the, the whole boat obviously is a complete wreckage at the moment, we are setting up this tiny little living room area here where we can have our Christmas party. Do my bit? Yeah, it's pretty hard keeping up with Bex. She is absolutely buzzing. Jesus. Oh, good. It's got glue vine. This tastes slightly different. It's more like sangria. It's glue vine. Final preparations put into place. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for, guys. It's the great Crowbot Christmas light switch on. Do it. Flip the switch, Rebecca Crowbot. Ready? I'm ready. Five, four, four three, two, one. Fire it up. Hey, look at it. God, it's like I'm in like some fairy land. Isn't right it? here. World's biggest Christmas tree. We do not mess around with Planet Crowbot. And this is all Becca, really, guys. I've done, I've done a little bit, but she is the mastermind behind all this Christmassy chaos. Yeah, these stars she made out of newspaper, and then she started cutting up some oranges for decorations. Bloody nutter. Where we're going to be rocking out tonight. You heard me right. Rocking out. What do you think, guys? Making mince pies, mince pies. <laughs> they even crow bodge their mince pies. <gasps> Go mad. It's all the sherry. <laughs> Freestyling the mince pieage. But I'm gonna add a bit of lemon and orange zest. <laughs> you can grate some into your pastry. So it's time to roll up your sleeves and get like bread crumbing your pastry. Do that and then all the sugary goodness to enable me to keep up this slightly out of control craziness. <laughs> and then you put, you just need to put your egg in. Bam and lamb, there's your mince pie. Chicken. Just gonna make like a really good rolling pin. So I'm going to use that. That's me on a Saturday night. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my God, look at them. Maybe a bit too ready. <laughs> So I think it's time to get the Christmas cocktails underway. I'm making these as a surprise for Chris and then I'm going to show you his reaction when he sees what comes out. So the first one I'm making is a sugar cookie martini. Let's go. So in here 
you can see that looks like a pair of breasts that isn't what it is <laughs> it's actually <laughs> some melted chocolate i don't know why i'm getting that weird pattern that one's even got a nipple on it <laughs> anyway i've melted some chocolate in here to make a funky rim for my glass this just gets worse and worse so here we go i'm gonna dip the rim of my glass into my melted chocolate <laughs> before sticking these little bits of can like candy to the edges that i've chopped up there she is coated in chocolate so in here it's gone milk um baileys vanilla vodka amaretto although slight variation because we've gone with oat milk lidl's own which is really nice baileys another lidl's own vodka aldi amaretto drop of vanilla essence let's give it a try ball bags what on earth is it <laughs> your cream started to like sink in the middle merry f***ing christmas that needs a straw don't it you just drink it like that mm. <laughs> i've never had anything like that ever you do you do surprise me becca you do do you, do you want me to make one now <laughs> your turn your turn next <laughs> And this is the moment where Becca got really carried away. Yes, yeah, she wanted me to throw these over her head. Merry Christmas! Woo! Pick well, make your choice well. One, two, three. I hey, got mine! I got mine! Titan hasn't done his. <laughs> Come on then, I'll help him. Matches with his attire. First time I've ever made it or tried it, in fact. Cinnamony, lovely, eggy goodness. The old egg and nog, Jesus! <laughs> it's a scrambled egg with vodka. Bloody brilliant. It's actually rum, but that's how drunk he is. <laughs> <laughs> away is the video that Becca was very excited to share with you guys. Becca's ideas. <laughs> right guys, this is Christmas out from the Crowbots. We wish you a very happy festive season full of loads of cheese and ridiculous antics. Toodle pips. We love Brian Harvey. <laughs>